The Donetsk People's Republic will build mutually beneficial partnership relations with neighbors, Donetsk Republican leader Alexander Zaharchenko told the Donetsk News Agency. I adhere to the following position, we should build mutually advantageous partnership relations with all our neighbors, he said. Establishment of political and economic ties with Kyiv mainly depends from Ukrainian authorities, Zaharchenko noted. Donetsk has moved from the war for the survival of the Republic to foreign policy of independent state. It is the accomplished fact. The date for exchanging prisoners from both sides of the Ukrainian conflict will be announced within days, Assistant Commander of the Lugansk People's Republic Militia Vitaly Kiselov said. Talks on an all-for-all number swap began long ago, but central government authorities in Kyiv have continually slowed progress, he said. We remember, the contact group for Ukraine will hold the second round of talks in Minsk today. The Ukrainian side will start withdrawing heavy artillery from Donbas after December 26 to create a 30-kilometer security zone. The United States and Ukraine will sooner or later have to answer questions within the framework of the investigation into the crash of the Malaysian Boeing over Ukraine near Donetsk last summer, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has said. We still have no replies to the questions. Where are the data from the US satellites that monitored the area on that day? Where are the data from US planes that were flying over that area? Where are the testimonies by Dnipropetrovsk air traffic controllers who were responsible for keeping track of flights in that part of Ukraine's airspace. We have long requested a logbook of all sorties Ukrainian combat planes based on that area flew on that day, Lavrov said, adding that nothing had been done. President Barack Obama made his annual Christmas Day visit to the Marine Corps base at Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii, noting the U.S. will soon end military operations in Afghanistan. The world is better, it's safer and more prosperous because of you, Obama told service members of military base. We won't remember, Mr. Obama. U.S. have been at war every year for the past 13 years. Did 13 years of U.S. wars make this world better? We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.